Hi everyone, I'm Anjali and today I'm going to discuss a few questions from the past year question paper of International English Olympiad organized by SOF. So uh, the very first section as you can see is word and structure knowledge. This particular section primarily focuses on our understanding of grammar, the everyday grammar we are taught. Now, for this section, I'm planning to look at question number 15 in the question paper. Uh, this one tries to test our understanding of verbs and tenses. All right, if we closely look at the question, the very first thing that we should pay attention to are the instructions. And the instructions earlier said that we have to fill in the blank with the most appropriate or the correct option. Okay, we are given four choices here and one of them is the correct answers. So let's see what does the question say. It says, I was dash for about an hour before my dad collected me. Now if we look at the question carefully, we know after checking the options that the verb in consideration is wait. And we have to use the correct form or we have to select the correct form of wait out of these four for the option here. The easiest way to do so is by checking the words before the blank and after the blank. Obviously, after the blank, I'm not really getting any hint. But if I check the word before the blank, it says a was. Now, if you can quickly recollect at that point in exam that past progressive tense or past continuous tense as we more commonly know it uh, tends to use a was or a were in the sentences right why what's the rule the rule says we have we have was and were alongside verb plus ing and this is what we use in past continuous tense in our options we have two options uh, one is a which says being waiting and another is c which says waiting so we can quickly eliminate the other two b that this is not the correct one this is not the correct one because we already know we have a was here so it has to have an ing okay but let me tell you one thing in passive voice a lot many times it happens that with our auxiliary verb we do not use ing form but in that case we actually end up using the past participle form of the verb or the third form of the verb which in case of wait is weighted if this would have been being weighted we could have thought of being weighted we could have been confused but here it says being waiting and it is absolutely incorrect because we cannot use this option and the only one left based on our rules we cannot use option a so the only one left is option c which says waiting and hence the correct answer becomes i was waiting for about an hour before my dad collected me so the trick to solve such questions is to always believe in the rules you know once you can see that the rule you are aware of perfectly fits the answer and you know you just quickly have to check the remaining in order to eliminate them you can easily and confidently choose your answer okay so now let's move on to the next question i'll actually jump from this section to the last section of the paper where we are going to look at one of the questions from the achievers section now the questions in achievers section are generally of three marks and they are really important uh it's believed that this section is a bit tricky but not really it actually tries to test how much you have really understood the language you are speaking. It's not only rules, rules and rules. It's more about the language which you are speaking. Are you aware of its correctness or not? And that's what this, this particular section tries to test. So uh, I'm going to see question number 46. And question number 46 again has the same uh, pattern. We have to choose the correct option. But we have two blanks and two options which are separated by a slash here. 
and we have to choose one option where both the uh, uh, both the tenses that are given are correct okay this uh, i cannot really say is a tense question it actually comes under the section or the heading of verb why because if you look at the sentence formation see the sentence begins with an if now what does how does it really matter if a sentence begins with an if what happens any time you come across a sentence beginning with an if it means it is presenting us a condition that needs to be fulfilled or it remained unfulfilled for the another action to happen the, this particular sentence the first part and the second part are joined with the help of a comma and there are two actions happening one is involvement of ariel's classmates towards the party and other is ariel being upset so there are two options and we have to choose any one correctly now if you look at the first option here it says were and hasn't be okay so if you know we can't really use be with hasn't there's a specific rule which says that with has we always use the form been if this is the case we can think of it as an option but since this is not we can simply eliminate it out similarly hasn't to be this to be is actually in itself something called an infinitive and it cannot really be put here so again we can go ahead and eliminate this option because there's something wrong with the options right they are not the correct form or format in which we use these phrases the third option says if ariel's classmates are being on time for her party she wasn't so upset she wasn't being so upset now now if you if you actually closely look at it this this sounds incorrect and obviously there is a grammatical rule or a reason behind why it sounds incorrect and the reason is that the first action or the if clause or the sentence the part of the sentence where the condition is being talked about is in present and its impact is in past it's again incorrect we can't really say this is a correct option and what we are eventually left with is this if ariel's classmates had been on time for her party she wouldn't be so upset now okay there's another reason a proper grammar rule which basically says that in such sentences where conditions are placed for any real or unreal action we generally use a past perfect tense if that action is thought of to be completed in the past you know arrival of friends is completed in the past we are not going for continuous or any other form because we are already talking about it from a sense of the actions completion perfect completion in the past and hence had been is the option and eventually we use modals like would could or might in the second part of the sentence i hope this clears your doubt and uh, you have understood what conditional sentences are and all the very best thank you